Assuming Ed Donatel is out after this year, the Vikings are going to be in need of a new defensive coordinator. And if you can reach the sky as the new guy, great. But for me, I'll settle for a competent defense. Candidates that I'm hoping Minnesota takes a look at, number one choice, obviously, is Vic Fangio. And after hiring Donatel, the thought was, okay, we're getting a student from the Fangio coaching tree. Close enough. But I've learned that just because you've gained experience from valuable resources doesn't mean you're going to bring that same energy to the table when you move on. We're seeing that with Ed Donatel right now. You can get a whole bachelor's degree or master's degree at Princeton, but if you're stubborn and you have little self-awareness, then your potential success will be limited in your professional life. Enough of the Vic Fangio light guy. Get the man himself. From 2011 up through last year, 2021, that's 11 seasons. So two teams as defensive coordinator with Chicago and San Francisco and the Denver Broncos as head coach, Vic Fangio's defense has been in the top half all but one season, top 10 seven times and five times in the top five. Last year in Denver, eighth best defense. So he's been the defensive leader through the shift into what is now the preferred high passing league. And in that same time frame, Vic Fangio has put up a top 10 pass defense eight times. And look at the Vikings right now. Every quarterback that they face looks like prime Tom Brady. I believe Fangio can whip this defense into shape to at least be 15th at worst next year in 2023 if you hire him. Vic Fangio has to be the number one option here for Quasi Adolfo Mensa and Kevin O'Connell. The rest of the candidates, no particular order. It's a crapshoot. These are all current head coaches that are thought to be on the hot seat right now. Brandon Staley, current head coach of the Chargers. Now, they did just get a big win over Miami last week to get to seven and six. So we'll see how it all plays out. But if he does end up getting fired, young guy, 40 years old, as defensive coordinator of the Rams in 2020, they had the number one defense, both in yardage and in scoring. The argument to that is, well, yeah, of course, when you have players like Aaron Donald and Jalen Ramsey, both all pros, not to mention Leonard Floyd as well, you better be great. Fair enough. And the more that I think about it, that's probably the reality because the last two years as head coach of the Chargers, no Donald, no Ramsey, but Joey Bosa and Derwin James, that's pretty damn good. Although Bosa has been hurt for much of this year. You went from the first ranked defense in 2020 with the Rams to last year, first year head coach with the Chargers, 23rd ranked defense. Well, it was just a blip. He'll figure it out. Give him time. 2022, he will right the ship. Right now, the Chargers defense, also 23rd. That's that's just great. He'll be a candidate somewhere if he does end up getting fired. But what's expected to be a major overhaul with the Vikings defensive personnel, a lot of youth going to be on this team. I would stay clear of Brandon Staley if I were the Vikings. Next up is Todd Bowles, current head coach in Tampa. Right now, they're struggling at six and seven. And I would not be surprised if the 5-8 and eight Carolina Panthers somehow, someway, find a way to leapfrog over them to win the NFC South. That division is a mess. But as a head coach, not my cup of tea. As a defensive coordinator, as a leader of the defense, we can have that conversation because his four years in Tampa, his defense has always been top half. And if this season holds up, two of those years will be top 10. He knows how to work with aging veterans and young players alike. If you can't get Vic Fangio, Todd Bowles is a sensible pick here. And lastly, Dennis Allen. Saints are trying to figure out life after Sean Payton. Allen, his first year as head coach in New Orleans. Right now, they're 4-9. Not great. However, if you go back in their heyday, the Saints, when they were all offense, no defense, Allen brought balance of power there. The last four years, their defensive rankings, 11th, 4th, 7th, and this year, currently 11th. Scoring defense just below average at 17, but this to me would be an intriguing hire because what he's shown defensively over in New Orleans is growth. Ever since he was a defensive coordinator in 2015, the defense has gotten better and better. And you could say, well, make the argument, Ed Donatel, give him more than a year, see what he can do in 2023. But the problem here is that to me, the scheme is a bigger issue compared to the players. And he's shown no interest in adjusting, so I'm super good off of him. And even though I said no particular order after Vic Fangio, screw it, my preference, one through four, Vic Fangio, Todd Bowles at two, Dennis Allen at three, Brandon Staley at four, or don't hire him at all. Your thoughts in the comment section below. We're back at it tomorrow. We'll see you then.